Well, welcome to the call, everyone. My name is Dr. Kurt Fisnick. I'm a chiropractor. <clears throat> I haven't practiced chiropractic now in, in 10 years, not, not traditional chiropractic anyhow. And uh, it really wasn't by choice. I was involved in a motorcycle accident uh, August 27th of 2007. A guy uh, ran a stop sign, hit me at about 65 miles an hour, and, and uh, nearly tore my right leg off. And I, I tell people this this story. I mean, and I mean, you just got you got to visualize it. I mean, when I when I woke up um, after getting knocked unconscious, my right foot was up by my ear, and I'm not a very flexible person. But when I looked down, my uh, my uh, uh, pant leg was torn, and and the, the femur was sticking out through a hole there, and and luckily none of the major arteries were torn, um, and the nerves weren't uh, weren't ripped, um, but uh, my my bone was just shattered from the knee down to the foot. It was shattered into a, a million pieces, and uh, and luckily I I had some great surgeons that that put me back together like Humpty Dumpty, and and. Uh, and it took a number of years to get back, but here I am 10 years later, and I continue to get better. Last week I was out in Utah. I was uh, hunting up in the mountains and, and hiking around up there, and I just, you know, I, I had a lot of time to, to sit and reflect and, and think about things, and, and it, it, it just it continues to amaze me uh, how, how much better I'm getting. Um, even 10 years after the injury. And so many times um, doctors uh, tell their patients, you know, that, well, this is as good as it's going to get. And 50% uh, of people go home and, and listen, and that's exactly, that's exactly it. And, and I, I talk to my parents about this a lot. My dad will turn 80 this year. And I, and I say, just think about all the people that you know that have been, you know, convinced that somehow at that age you just are supposed to get sick and they do and you're supposed to take this medication and many people do I I, um, I remember when my when my mom turned 70 um, her doctor prescribed a medication and I kind of gave gave my mom this weird look and I and I I shook my head a little bit I'm like, why you don't even have a problem with that and and the, and she said, well, the doctor said, well, you're you're at this age, you know, you need to be on this medication. And I thought, really, is that really how they look at it? That you're at this age, here's the protocol, right? It's it's like having an an automobile, and and uh, you know, it, it they say. Um, change the oil at this at this mileage, change the transmission fluid at this mileage, do this, rotate the tires, all these different things. But we aren't cars. We aren't automobiles. And, and so how can you have, you know, scheduled um, maintenance on, on scheduled things to do on the human body that involve uh, pharmaceuticals if there isn't a, isn't, if there isn't a health problem? And, uh, and, you know, and, and, and think about that. Think about that. How many people do you know have gone through that? If I'd listened to my doctors, they, you know, um, I was in a coma for two days, and when I came out of the coma, the first thing they wanted to do, I still had, I still had dry, crusty blood on, on my face and across my body from the accident. First thing they told me was is that, you know, you've got five minutes. We've got to decide, are we going to amputate your leg? And they told me because I was a doctor, they were letting me make that decision because most people wouldn't have had a choice. They would have just, when, when I woke up out of, the coma, out of the coma, I would have been missing my leg. And here I am 10 years later, um, you know, my leg, <clears throat> it's got arthritis in it. And, uh, and, and I can feel like as I'm sitting here talking to all of you on the phone, I can bend my foot and I can tell that there's, there, it's not right. But do I have to take anything for it? Absolutely not. Meanwhile, a friend of mine did have his leg amputated, um, and uh, he's in horrible pain. So we just got to wonder, you know, I mean, 
do they know everything that they that they need to know? And my answer is absolutely not. I was reading an article this morning. A friend of mine in Australia sent me an article by a group of mathematicians at the University of Arizona, and they said they said that you know it's hogwash that that you know living forever is is not possible. Well, of course it's not possible. You can't live forever. And they went on to talk about that, and they said that that you know that aging is inevitable. Well, yes, it is. I mean, we are going to age. The cells are eventually going to get to that point. But if we can keep everything kind of in a check and balance, right, so that the the good things that are supposed to happen continue to happen, and the bad things that that happen, we can slow them down and 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 prevent them till you know the end. That's that's what what uh, healthy aging is all about. And so I don't think these mathematicians get it. And, and I went to school for engineering before I went into chiropractic, so I've got a lot of math behind me and a lot of physics. Um, and so I know where they're coming from. I hung around with these type of people, and, and it's, it's cut and dry. It's black and white on how they look at things, and, and that's the problem. You know? But, man, I'll tell you what, you get one of those guys to, to see what we're doing, you get them to try the age pill, they're probably one of your best prospects because they'll go, holy cow, something really is happening here. But anyhow, you know, that's kind of my, my opening today, my thoughts. Uh, maybe you want to call it my monologue. You know, thank God last night on, on you know, uh, the Jimmy Kimmel show, uh, they had Shaq on there and they didn't have any political uh, things on the monologue. It was so nice to, to watch that without, without Jimmy Kimmel on there. Thank God. But anyhow, um, today uh, I've, got some, I've got an exciting uh, a story to bring you and, uh, and share with you. It's actually not my story. Uh, Alan Hordell, are you there? I sure am. Well, Alan, thanks for joining us today on, on short notice. I know it was only three or four minutes before the call time, and I asked you to join me and and share your story. I mean, you, you've gone through some, some heartache and some, some troubles of your own. And, you know, uh, about the same time that I was going through my motorcycle wreck that, that winter, or maybe the winter before you had been in a snowmobile wreck. And so kind of give everybody a, a history of, of where your what your body's gone through in the last, in the last 10 years or so. Well, good morning, everybody. And thanks Dr. Kirk for asking me to come on the call. And <clears throat> first of all, uh, I'm not new to Sizzle, by the way, folks. Uh, I'm just about in my seventh year uh, being with Sizzle, and what brought me to Sizzle wasn't uh, anything to do with uh, network marketing, wasn't anything to do with MLM, and had to do, even though I was in the industry for many years, it had to do with uh, putting my body back together, and I knew the only place that I could go, actually, to be honest with you, that I knew I could get honest, great products, and that was through Mr. Tom Maurer, and, uh, and that's how I actually came to Sizzle. Because 11 years ago this December... Uh, I was in a horrific uh, snowmobile crash, uh, very similar to uh, Dr. Kurt's uh, uh, snowmobile or uh, motorcycle, and um, it, uh, it. Well, I was clinically dead in the actual accident. I severed the sclavian artery of the heart. I tore the brachial plexus out of out of my shoulder from the T1 to the T7. I bled out internally, and uh, there was virtually no hope for me. By the time they got me to the hospital, which was about 15 miles away, we didn't have uh, choppers uh, back then. So uh, I had to wait for an ambulance, and, and to make a long story short, a couple of buddies of mine literally stripped me naked in minus 25 degree weather and covered me with snow and, and ordered and it clotted the blood in the, uh, in the um, uh, Seclavin artery and to, to stop uh, a lot of the flow of the blood coming out of the heart. And so in saying that, uh, they were able to get me back to hospital and and were able to give me blood transfusion, warm me, and uh, actually kickstart and then and, and, and revitalize the heart. And, and eventually I started coming around, but I was in a coma for quite some time. But to make a long story short, I went through major surgeries. I went through nerve transplant surgeries, muscle transplant surgeries, trapezius transplant surgeries, latissimus dorsi transplant surgeries, just so that they, I wouldn't let them cut my arm off. Uh, and uh, things like that. So they used all kinds of parts of my body to put back other parts of my body. And then uh, about five years after that, uh, I was diagnosed with coronary artery disease. Uh, I, was, I, was, I was diagnosed with a uh, 90, 98% blockage in one, possibly two of my arteries that go to the heart. 
so I had to go undergo a open heart surgery, um, um, actually very serious open heart surgery because they had to get me in right away. And uh, lo and behold, they not only found two blockages, they found six blockages over 80%. So I wound up having a quadruple bypass, which worked very, very well. Came out of that very strong, thanks to a lot of sizzle products and stuff like that. And uh, then all of a sudden, uh, two years after uh, the open heart surgery, a year and a half, maybe two years after, it was around Christmas time, two years ago, um, I wound up with atrial fibrillation for, caused by the surgery of the, of the open heart surgery which is about 6% of what happens uh, for open heart patients. So I won't have to have to go back in and get, uh, get uh, to get have help, you know, have an ablation to, to try to straighten that out because we tried everything. We sh- tried the shock treatments and everything else. Didn't work. And so I went in for an ablation where they go in and with, into your veins and go up into your heart and try to freeze the node and be able to put it back into rhythm. Well, it worked. It worked fine. I went back to uh, my room. I was supposed to be in there one day, let out that night. I was 45 minutes back into the room. I dropped all blood pressure, dropped heart rate. I went code blue. And if you don't even know what code blue is in a hospital, it's uh, cardiac arrest. Um, and you're not gonna, you're not gonna probably come out of it. Well, lo and behold, I was, had doctors rushed in, and one of the doctors that I had my surgery done by, uh, he was actually on duty, and he came in, injected me with the drug which uh, moved, got the heart rate going and wheeled me down to the operating room and he implanted a pacemaker. Uh, so here I am now 11 years later um, with a body banged up. And you have to remember before my accident, I was, I was an athlete. I played professional hockey, amateur hockey. I raced snowmobiles. Uh, I was pretty active and uh, pretty, pretty damn good shape too. And uh, so 11 years later, and in my 50s, now into my 60s, 62 I am now, uh, my body all went to hell. Not only the time that your body does start aging at a, a faster rate in the 50s, well, mine even sped up even, even deeper and deeper and faster and faster. And so, and, uh, and the drugs. I mean, I was on, uh, uh, you know, I was on heart medication. I was on blood pressure. I wound up with diabetes. I was on metformin. I was on a cholesterol pill. Uh, yeah, you got it. And uh, I wasn't a happy camper. Uh, I just wasn't a happy person. Um, and so about four months ago, um, I decided, uh, you know, I was really going to start to take a hold of my body. Um, I, uh, I knew something was going on inside my body. I didn't know what it was, but something was going on. But I thought I better start working out, I better start exercising, and I better start doing it. And I started doing that, and along came the rip, or the, pardon me, the, the, the age product. So I got started taking the age product, and lo and behold, my body, I started dropping weight. I started feeling better, but I was still, I still had problems in my prostate. I still had problems in my stomach, my bladder, and I was having some problems. So I went into the doctor, and I was diagnosed uh, with having, uh, we, we, we went to the first diagnosis of my, my blood test, which actually didn't show anything. My PSA was good. And, uh, but my urine test and everything, there was blood in the urine and there was also cancer cells, both in the bladder and in the kidneys. So all uh, they ordered ultrasounds, CT scans. So to make a long story short, which is already long, um, I underwent three months of solid, I mean, I'm I'm talking solid, and Kurt knows this, of in hospitals, in doctor's offices, in in, in ultrasounds, in CT scans. And and trust me one thing, folks, my doctor is the most amazing doctor there is. This this man not only believes in alternative medicines, but he also believes in in, and really did coming in and finding out exactly what's going on. So he put me through everything. Then I went to see the specials in Saskatoon. You might have been following my posts on, on, um, on Facebook. Uh, I wasn't telling who had cancer or what had cancer or what was going on, but a lot of you people were following and wondering what the heck I was doing in so many hospitals and so many doctor's offices and daddy, yaddy, yaddy. Well, that's why. And I didn't want to disclose it to anybody. Well, yesterday I went back for my final uh, results. And I was scared as hell. I'll, I'll, I'll admit it. I, I, I was absolutely terrified uh, to go into that doctor's office yesterday. And I actually, a month ago, I, I gave him a bottle of the, of, the, uh, of the age product and told him to take a look at it and take a look into it, and, which I know my doctor will, would do. 
And so I went back yesterday and I, he read the reports from Saskatoon from the uh, specialist, the cancer specialist in Saskatoon, actually two cancer specialists. And in that report, the cancer cells that we had found in the bladder and the kidneys have all of it virtually disappeared. Uh, there is uh, no tumors whatsoever in any parts of my body. My lungs are, in fact, my lungs are the lungs of a 30-year-old. My, uh, my bladder, my kidneys are absolutely, absolutely perfect, except for two small, or a couple small cysts in the inside of the bladder, he says, which is not common at a, at a person your age. And uh, I, I'm going to do a Facebook Live on this, folks, and you can actually see the copy, and I'll read the actual paperwork that I got back from the doctor. I'll be doing that in the next couple of days. But what we discussed there was, I asked him, okay, are we going to do any treatment? I, I really don't want to go through a chemo, the chemo pill, which is, works very similar to the chemo. He, you know, he says, no, Alan, he says, we're, we're, we're actually not going to have to treat anything. He says, you're treating it right now with the age pill. And I says, yeah, I really think so. And he says, so do I. I. He says, because what the age pill does is it rebuilds cells. And, and that was the biggest thing is that these, are, these cancer cells could have been old. They could have been new. They, they really don't know. But uh, when they did the inside on the endoscopy, uh, they did tests on the kidneys and, and, and the bladder, uh, everything came back normal, which we didn't have three months ago. And those cells were gone, completely gone. So in saying that, and now, and, and the good news is, is that this never detracted me from my workouts. This never detracted me. In fact, it enhanced my workouts where I was doing anywhere from uh, 10 to 15 miles a day in intervals of about three times a day. I, was, I dropped over 50, well, I'm over 50 pounds of, of weight loss now. We didn't have the RIP product until a month ago, so I wasn't able to get on the RIP product until a month ago. I had got on the RIP product and uh, started using that. I, I gave that to the doctor yesterday. And uh, so now, uh, right now, I'm 100% I'm, I'm cancer-free, uh, no tumors. Uh, I will go back in 30 days just to do an ultrasound uh, on those, those small cysts that are in the, in the bladder, which we're not concerned about whatsoever. And uh, as of right now, and, and in, in fact, in the report that the doctor, the specialist, which I had seen twice before on other things in Saskatoon, so I knew this doctor or this specialist quite well, actually, he said in the report, this is a 62-year-old man that's absolutely remarkable shape his bladder, his kidneys, his, his heart, or his lungs. He says, this is a man that has come back from death to absolutely perfect health, even with the cancer cells. And this is all in the report. And, 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 and I've never seen a doctor actually put that kind of information in a report and, and call somebody remarkable or, or, or tell tell somebody that, or tell another doctor of how incredible this person has they been able to bring their life back. And I'm, going, I'm not making any claims here whatsoever. I will not make claims that our products cure, treat, or die, and we do not diagnose anything. What I'm trying to say to you, and I'm giving my own personal testimony, nobody else's testimonial, is that this is what the product has done for me. And I just got off the phone with Leslie over in New York City, uh, a girl that I brought into the business uh, about a month and a half ago. And Leslie said to me, and I've known Leslie for several years, uh, and a remarkable, young, beautiful, in her 50s woman. And uh, she says, Alan, I just want to talk to you this morning. She says, I'm just going to tell you, she says, your attitude, your, your, your way of life, the way, she says, is 100% different than you were a year ago. She says, what's changed? And I, so I shared this with her an hour ago, and she said, I knew something was up. I just know it because I know you so well. I knew something was up. And, uh, and, and, and that's where we're at today. And I just want to tell each and every one of you on this call this morning, one thing I'm going to say is do not take your life for granted. Do not take your life for granted. I, I was coming home last night. Tina and I were driving back last night, and I even told this to Leanne 
uh, at the doctor's office, when I came out of the doctor's office, I actually broke down and cried. Uh, I cried like a baby because uh, I, I, I just said, you know, God has given me another chance. This is the fourth in a row. I mean, you say a cat's got nine lives. I guess I got five more to go. But he's given me another, another chance at, at, at life again. And I want to tell each and every one of you, if you're not going to share this story with somebody, and I will do a Facebook Live tomorrow if you all want to jump on it. If not, it will be recorded. It will be on my Facebook. If I'm not on your Facebook, add me. But I am going to come out probably tomorrow or Thursday and give a Facebook Live on this. And it's going to shake a lot of people up. But I've got backing from doctors and three months of testing, rigorous testing, going from having cancer cells to even, maybe even partially tumors to virtually having no cancer cells, in fact, no detectable cancer cells right now, no tumors whatsoever, and I, I've walked away with a clean bill of health. By the way, I've been diabetes-free for two years now uh, because of the sizzling uh, and now with the age product. Uh, the ripped. I'm not going. I'm not going to go down the road of, of diabetes because it's a muscle product. But age and, and sizzling, absolutely. I've been. My cholesterol is 1.48. It's never ever been on that low in my probably my whole life. And now I'm off my cholesterol pills. So I'm off metformin. I'm off my cholesterol pills, and my blood pressure is 121 over 71. A year ago to this day. My blood pressure was 178 over 125. That's, that's even after my open heart and everything, and then dropping the 50 pounds. So if you don't believe that products that, that, that sizzle manufacturers make or, or products that Tom Maurer and his, his formulators make are, don't make an impact in, in the world, well, I'm living proof of it for seven years now. It makes a huge huge impact and I'm going to tell you those those drugs I just named you $185 that I'm saving each and every month and I'm now putting back proper nutrition into my body which I've been doing for seven years anyway but it's taken now so I mean diabetes is the fastest growing disease out there cancer is the bad, most baddest ass diseases you can get in fact my 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 girlfriend's sister is battling breast cancer right now and having a hell of a time in fact i haven't seen my girlfriend for virtually twice in six months because she's been looking after her twin sister and i'm going to tell you something it, it's no fun but guess what it's a whole different story for when i woke up this morning it was a whole different story when i went to bed last night and if you want to change your story and you want to change your life, and if you want to stay young, even though if you don't maybe have cancer or never had a high blood pressure or maybe never had diabetes, but you're over the age of 50, guess what? It's coming, and it's coming fast unless you stop it now. So thanks a lot, Dr. Kirk. I know I went a little overboard on my testimonial, but I think it's something I had to share this morning and uh, really share it from my heart and understand you know, where I've been in the last three months, where I've been in the last 11 years. Uh, to where I am today and I've been doing this industry now I'm in my 40th year uh, so what I've battled in the last 11 years has not been really a, a, a battle of, of finding the right products because I found those in sizzle so back to you Kurt hey Alan thanks for sharing that what an exciting testimony I mean I've known you for a number of years and and really like your friend in New York said you are a changed person. I mean, just your attitude, uh, just just how you sound, the, the the energy in your voice. It's different today than it was a year ago, uh, and 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 that's uh, you know it's easy to find out too. People can go back and listen to recordings from a year ago. But what an exciting testimonial! You know, Alan, <clears throat> I know you know a lot about the industry, the network marketing industry, things like that. Um, as people share this, as they share this, this call, the recording of this call with others, you know, the thing that, that we have to really get across is, is that in your opinion, right, you can share whatever you want. You can say, in my opinion, and, uh, and it, it, isn't that correct as they go out and share this, te this, this call, share this testimonial with others? Absolutely. I mean, uh, and, and it's like I, when I even just talked about a little bit of a disclaimer I put there, um, you know, when, when we talk about products of this magnitude or any products in the industry, and, and you, when you say, in, in my opinion, and it's like I said, in my opinion, and in, 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 in not only my opinion, in my doctor's opinion, that the H product has, has, has done some serious stuff with me in the last three months, not only, you know, with the, with the cancer cells, but 
one thing that people say, well, how, how do I, what do I say to people? What, like, wh- how do I explain or how do I get, and, it, and it's really, really simple. It, it truly is really, really simple. Use my testimonial. You can use my testimonial. There's no problem with that because what I've said is absolutely 100% truth. Uh, I'm not embellishing anything. I have the documents to back it up from doctors. And, and when you say to people, you know, and somebody says to you, uh, uh, oh, you know, uh, I've never heard of it. Well, have you heard of cancer? Have you heard of, have you heard of uh, 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 diabetes? Have you heard, you know, have you heard of the anti-aging? Or have you heard of aging? And he says, well, that's happening now. And I said, well, you know, all you have to do is share the, the video of Tom's, share my testimonial. And even when I do that timeline tomorrow, um, take that timeline, put your name on it, use me as, 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 as testimonial, and just share it with people. And once you share with people, I've got people in the last three days have come and, and, and one fellow, I'll give an example. One fellow messaged me two, two nights ago. I was in the hotel in, uh, in Yorkton. And I was just, I had gone and I worked out in the gym and had a swim and a jacuzzi. And I went back to my room and I got a message about 9.30 while I was watching the ball game. And he says, I've been following Alan. I've been following you for years. And he says, I respect you so much, he says, but the last few months I've been following what you've been doing and what's happening to you and things like that. Without you saying anything, I knew in the back of my mind what was going on with you. And he says, I want to join. I want to join you guys. I want to be with you guys. I want to start taking these products. And that was, you know, just somebody that was following me. I mean, he was just following my posts. And that's all you need to do is just reach out to people on Facebook and, and, and just keep it professional. Keep it real. Keep it, keep it just, you know, you don't have to embellish anything because we have the products. We have a compensation plan that I think is one of the finest compensation plans in the, in the industry. So, and you can get paid daily. So I tell people, you know, just keep it simple and just tell people, you know, what the heck, buy. Here's what I do. I mean, if they don't want to come in and, and be part of the wealth builder, whatever it might be, but I tell them, I told this gentleman yesterday, I says, go in, buy two bottles because you're going to need two bottles. You're going to get it at a special price. You're going to sign up for free. You're going to get it at the wholesale price. I'm going to make 25% directly the very next day into my e-wallet and you, you'll do the same once you do it go and do the same and i said get the two bottles special get on it for 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 a month and a half and double dose it and and then in 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 90 days and then go on a next batch and in 90 days you come back to me if you don't like the product i said i'll refund your money i actually will i'll refund his money because i know it's not going to happen so it's very simple kurt very very simple to share this don't complicate it that's right. You know, and like Alan just said, when you share when you share this testimonial, basically the doctor's clinic called from this morning, you can say, in Alan's opinion, it saved his life, right? And that's that's how you can say it, and that's how you can start it out, and you can share that with people, and it, it's really an amazing testimonial. And and Alan, you know, like you just said, I've made that guarantee with people. I've got you know I've got it on the side of my truck, to take my ninety day challenge, and and so far. The people that have gone on the 90-day challenge, um, you know, the product's been out for about 90 days now. People have called me up and they say, hey, how do I get more? I need more. They're not calling well, you know, saying, how you, do I get my money back? Yeah, they're saying, you, I need more. You know, the interesting part about that, you make it made a really, really good point about that. See, I, I went on my own 90-day challenge. Here, here's one thing about myself, and Kurt will know this too, you know, I, I, I'm not going to take somebody else's word for, you know, because products work differently in people's bodies. They, they, do, they do work perfectly, per, uh, differently. So what I, I, I said, you know, I even told Kurt this, I'm going I'm to take the product, uh, I'm going to start my regimen, and I'm going to take this product, and I'm going to take it for a minimum of 90 days. You have to take a product for a minimum of 90 days. And, and then I, I started noticing differences within two weeks. But at the end of 90 days, when you've dropped over 40 pounds and you feel terrific, even though you're going through some challenges like I was going through, uh, that's, that's amazing stuff. And when, when I, so now what I want to do is I'm going to hear it on the Facebook Live. I'm going to ask people to dedicate to 90 days, to buy the product for 90 days, and come on a 90-day challenge with me. 
I want to see how many will do that. Come on a 90-day challenge with me, and let's see if we can duplicate. I, I still got 20 more pounds to drop, folks. I weighed 256 pounds when I started this, and my goal weight is 185. So I still got 20 more pounds to go. So I'm looking for some, some friends, and I'm looking for some people that want to go on that 90-day challenge now with me because now I know how to work the 90-day challenge. I know what products. I need to, I need, you need to be on the sizzling. You need to be on the age. You need to be on the rip. Those three products, we need to start immediately. And let's go on that 90-day challenge. And at, that 90 day, at the end of the 90-day challenge, you haven't changed. Well, guess what? I'll give you your money back. But I, I know right now there will be nobody getting their money back because you are going to change. It doesn't matter. You might change one way. You might change another way. Some people are going to change differently. But you are going to change. I'll give an example. I'm going to read a testimonial. Kurt, give me two seconds. I, I'm, I'm serious. I, I just remembered this yeah. from last night. And this is coming from, um, I'm, I'm not going to give her last name. She's a very dear personal friend. Another personal friend of mine that's been with me for a long, long time. Her name is Patty, and I'm going to say I'm going to I'm going to tell you what she wrote to me last night. And her husband is going through some very difficult times. She also gave me some personal information that she needs to get out of the office she's in and go working full time. She says my husband Pat is having his left eye that has a very dense cataract in it operated on tomorrow, which is this morning. A specialist is doing the surgery, so we're hoping for the best as he can't see out of this eye. We are taking our sizzle products faithfully. I've already lost nine pounds with no effort at all. Now, she signed up one month ago. She bought the sizzling. She bought the age. The other rip wasn't out. And now she's bought the rip. So, and she says, we are taking our sizzle products faithfully. I've already lost nine pounds with no effort at all. Pat is feeling not as tired as he was before. His energy levels are up, and we're optimistic about the surgery this uh, tomorrow morning. And so when waiting might, might try, uh, and, uh, and she says, I will call you sometime and give you more information. She says, thank God I found sizzle, and I found sizzle products. They're already working on us. Now I can go market them. Wow. And that's pretty powerful cool. too. Pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, Alan, I know we're we're at the bottom of the hour here, and and uh, you know we've used up our thirty minutes, and and uh, man, I appreciate it. Your your story, it couldn't have come at at a, a better time. You know, here we're going into the into the uh, latter part of the year. It's the best time of the year to get really working with uh, network marketing and and sharing stories and and helping people and. And uh, stories like this will get people interested. It'll, it'll, it'll build an income for you and, and an extra income. Who couldn't use that in today's world and help lower your stress that way? So, Alan, yeah, please, thanks again. Please, please, uh, please add me to your Facebook. It's Alan Hordell, H-O-R-D-A-L, and that live is either going tomorrow or it's going to go Thursday, and you're welcome to use it to build all your businesses. All right. Thank you. Thanks, everyone, for joining us today. And, and get this call out. Share it with a few people. Let them hear what can really happen with, with these types of products and how powerful they are. You know, I mean, it's, uh, it's just amazing. So uh, that's the end for the Sizzle Doctors Clinic for this week. Have a great November, November and we'll see you and next we'll see week. You. Bye-bye. Yeah.